All right, so here's where we're at. We've got the two outer walls. We've got the front and the middle doorway to make two rooms. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to put this back wall in and have an opening for a window. Okay, so I'll let you guys decide what size window you want. Um, if you want to do 24 by 24, if you want to do 36 by 36, and that didn't work very good, but I'll try that. So you can find the rough openings. Okay, so a 36 by 36 window. Um, it says we're going to make it 35 and a half by 35. No, sorry, the window is an actually 35 and a by a half by 35 and a half. So the rough opening needs to be 36 by 36. Well, that's easy. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that guy. We were going to do a smaller window, but I'm going to make the same thing. Get my rectangle tool, and we're going to make this 36, shift quotation, comma, 36, shift quotation, enter. Um, we'll throw some dimensions on there for you guys. It's just a three-foot window. All right, so that's how big a window we're going to put in the back of this. Now the rear wall is going to be fairly similar to one of these, so I'm going to grab that and copy and we're going to pull that all the way back there. As always, make this unique and we're going to edit this and to make it easier to edit, I'm going to explode it. So you see right there it says explode. What this does is this undid the component, so all of these pieces now are separate okay so I'm gonna delete delete um, delete and delete all of those uh, because I can take this guy move copy and put that down there and we have our bottom plate and top plate back. Um, we are going to need these guys. So let's, let's get this guy where we want it. I'm going to grab it in the middle. Bring it into the middle of that. So as you can see, our rough opening needs to match that. Okay. So I'm going to shift select both of these. And I'm going to move this to the edge okay <clears throat> and we're going to do the same thing over here I'm going to select both of these click shift click move move that out to there like that and I don't know if we want the window that high let's I just put it there because that's where this was I think I actually want to move it down just a little bit. Again, I'll leave that up to you. All right, so there's that. And all oh, those measurements are bugging me. I'm going to get rid of those. I guess I should have copied that instead of moved it. Okay, so we're going to have to fix this stud. We want it in the middle of that. Um, we need a sill. Okay, the sill's going to go underneath, and then the non-structural header will go on top. So let's just copy this guy. Control. And you know what we're going to have to do here? We're going to match the midpoint of this to the midpoint of that. We're going to make this guy unique, because obviously it can't do that. Let's come in here and edit it. We're going to push this out to the stud okay so they're overlapping it's overlapping this stud right now and that'll make sense in a second we're going to turn this inner stud into a cripple stud but i think we're going to have to make this guy unique let's just see what happens yeah see it's pulling them all down so escape click out of there um, we're going to right click and make unique. 
And then we're going to double click in here, push pull, and pull that down to here. So this again is called a cripple stud. Um, doesn't necessarily have to go all the way down to the bottom. There's different building codes, so it could save yourself a little bit of wood if you only made it half that long. I'm just going to leave it. I kind of like the idea of having the extra strength there. So I made that unique. I'm going to pull this one down so it is also supporting there like that. And then we're going to grab both of these move copy because we need them up here put those two right there and again we're going to make both of these unique because they're going to have to get shortened here but let's move this guy up first move control i'm going to grab it right in the middle on the bottom so i can match it right in the middle on the top I should be able to come in here and pull this down to there and do the same with this one. All right, we've basically just framed in our window. Delete that square since I'm done with it. We're not quite done with the wall though. Okay, let's make this guy unique and spin him around. Gotta get where I can see the bottom. Edit this, push, pull that down to here. Click out. I'm gonna grab one more of these guys, move, control, and I am gonna grab this one right here in the middle and put that in the midpoint like that. All right, we got one last thing left to do. And that's moving this guy just, it need, I feel more comfortable and it's centered, right? Just, we've got a bigger gap here. So that's a little tricky. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line from here to here. Escape to cancel. That's selected. I'm gonna get my move tool. And I'm gonna move that to the midpoint of the line. Okay, so now that one's centered. If we want, I can click on that line and just push delete. Do the same thing over here, line, click from here to there, and whoops, select that, move from midpoint to midpoint. Didn't move it very far. And there's our back wall. Hey, making progress. Now we just need to start making the roof. Let's say goodbye to that while we're at it. Clean this up just a little bit. Here we are. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you one more thing we're going to do uh, before we do the roof. So we're going to do a double top plate. Um, right now, you know, this structure still isn't real stable when we put the roof on and the sheeting on that's going to make it a whole lot more stable but the top plate is going to tie everything in nice and tight so we're going to get this we're going to make a copy of that i'm going to grab it on the corner put it right there and look at that matches see how it overlaps so now this is, this board is going to get nailed to that top plate and this top plate, and it's going to make it a whole lot stronger. So I'm going to do that. Oh, let's see. Let's do midpoints. Midpoint to midpoint, and then control there. Oh, not quite there. No, don't want to rotate it. All right, and we got to put a top plate across here. That's going to splice these walls, and uh, there's other ways to do this. <clears throat> Honestly, probably the best way to do that would have been to put another two by four, you know, built two sections. So we would have put this two by four right here as well, and then we could have nailed those together as well. 
I'm not going to worry about it for this model, um, but we're going to take this, I'm going to move it over somewhere, and now we are going to rotate it 90 degrees, enter, and let's grab that and move it right here, but we got to make this guy unique. Okay, because we're going to come in here and we're going to chop that down so it fits there. Now we should be able to just copy this guy. To right. I uh, guess it depends on where you uh, put your wall. So my inner wall is further back. It's not quite centered, which is fine. We can make this guy unique. Pull that out. Now we can get both of these. Move, control, zap them over here. Now we're ready to start working on trusses and roof stuff.